Hi, my name is Brad Keywell. I'm chairman of the board here at Future Founders, and I want to welcome all of you to the UPitch National Elevator Pitch Competition. Believe it or not, our seventh year of doing this, it's really been a wonderful part of Future Founders. You know, now with the pandemic and the world at a crossroads, there's never been a more important time for entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs. I believe that the problems that we are facing as a society, both specific problems and then our philosophically oriented future opportunities and issues are ones that are almost all best solved through leadership that comes from an entrepreneurial mindset, that solutions are best created by entrepreneurs. And really that all of us especially those who are part of this pitch competition, are the leaders and the doers and the disruptors of tomorrow. Because we can take action today, entrepreneurial action that makes a difference. So it's with that sense of optimism in the midst of a lot of questions that I assert to each of you that what you're doing matters, that what you're dreaming matters and that how you're pursuing it, putting yourself in the arena, learning how to pitch, learning how to think better and receive feedback with appreciation and gratitude and learning how to help each other. These are the ingredients that will make us as a country and us as a society and specifically us as entrepreneurs better equipped to create our future. Once again, welcome. Good luck to each and every one of you. And hopefully your pitch, your elevator pitch will resonate deeply. Hi everyone, my name is Michael and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Eris. Hi, my name is Zachary Lynn. My name is Sutton King. Candace Blackthaw. Joshua Myers. Allie Wolf. Over 1 billion baking nuts are sold yearly, with 10 million people addicted in the US alone. We noticed a huge gap in the fashion industry, especially in terms of sustainability. Getting a job isn't easy. The last six years, I've learned firsthand how vital working out is for wheelchair users. Well, over 55% of people in the U.S. do not have a will for their digital assets and online accounts. 87% of prospective renters say they consider a unit with a virtual tour over one that doesn't have one. 50 to 70 million people worldwide and 7 million couples in the United States struggle with infertility. Every month, virtually every woman you know has a period, and yet we don't talk about it. So women suffer in silence.
Breeze Bubble is a smart mask uh, with a microcooling fan technology that provides high comfort and high protection to people living in polluted air environments. That's why I started Ola Coral, a sustainable alternative seafood option that's actually fish from the sea. GABA leverages machine learning to bring the transparency that Glassdoor brought to hiring to medical education. Our mission is to help content creators easily capture and edit immersive content. At RISE, we're not just offering subscription-based live and on-demand workouts tailored by disability, but more importantly, we're building a brand centered around positivity and community. Buzzbassador is a CRM-like software solution that automates all the back office tasks of running an ambassador program. And that's how we came up with the quarter stick. Inside each bait, we mold in a durable piece of fabric at the hooking point. This patent-pending design allows our baits to last 11 times longer than our competitors. What we have here is an organic, natural cotton um, tightened into a wick that is placed into these circular containers, which are then diluted with natural extracts directly from plant leaves and fruits. We are the first ever integrated beauty platform revolutionizing the way that users shop and stream. That was great. I'll start with a, a question, if that's okay. Love the presentation. Tell me a bit more about, about the product. Question, can you talk a little bit more about the customer experience? How are you marketing to customers right now? How are people finding you? Is someone already built the tech or is the tech the app being built? And Tell me a little bit more about how you're thinking about pricing structure. If they're selling it for $7.99 in their stores, what are you selling it to them for? The future of retail is being shaped by bold, brilliant entrepreneurs. They're ready to succeed, and Target Accelerators is here to help. This experience in the incubator program has really blown me away because people from all levels of Target have truly unlocked doors for us. It's just amazing the amount of information that I would never in a million years imagine that I have people that can help me like that. There are other programs out there that help young companies accelerate or grow but we think that Target is the pinnacle client for what we do. We believe in game-changing ideas and in the entrepreneurs who dream them. We are Target Accelerators, and together we'll shape the future of retail.
Hi, I'm Tymie and I recently graduated from the entrepreneurship program at BYU. We're the girls company and we sell a solution to relieve period cramp pain. Every month, virtually every woman you know has a period and yet we don't talk about it. So women suffer in silence. This is a huge market. 62.8 million women in the U.S. experience cramp pain and 40% experience pain so severe, they're forced to skip work or school. In addition, $22 billion are spent each year to try to alleviate this pain. Millions of women already use heat to alleviate their cramp pain, but current solutions don't meet their needs. They aren't portable, discreet, or long-lasting. That's why we created our product. The band, which is patent pending, has pockets in the front and back where you insert thin and disposable heat pouches. It is worn underneath clothing and the heat lasts all day, allowing women to take heated relief on the go. Our starter pack includes one band and 12 warmers for $39.95. They receive additional warmers each month for $12.95. We have a 6X markup on the starter pack and a 7X markup on the refills. We started selling in January. Our marketing strategy is centered around digital ads and community building. Our average CAC is $21 and our lifetime value is $426. We were recently rated as the number one solution for cramp pain by Real Simple. We currently have 130 monthly subscribers. Our average month over month growth rate is 160%. There are many underserved problems in women's health. We plan to become a leader in innovation in this field. We're the girls and we believe that your life shouldn't stop when your period starts, period. When you're selling your first uh, and you're going to get the refills, how is that a subscription model? And then what's the conversion from first purchase to subscription? And what's the churn rate look like so far on subscribers? Yeah, so we're direct consumers. So we kind of have, um, we like to say that we kind of have like a dollar shave club model. So when you buy the starter pack, you can choose to automatically be on the subscription and you get your refills every month, it's $12.95. Um, and so 60% of people who purchase the starter pack will already choose, will opt into the subscription. Um, when we first started, we had a mistake on our website, which made them have to do two transactions in order to do the subscription. Um, but we made it a lot easier now. So about 60%. Um, our churn rate uh, varies month by month, but it's 8%. So this is what the band is. So it's a nylon spandex blend fabric. So the spandex we use for like stretchability and also for some pressure to help with the cramp pain and bloating. And then the nylon for breathability so you don't get really sweaty. And then there's these really, really thin pockets that go all the way around so that, cause people have back pain too. Mm. Um, so you can customize it to where you have your pain abdominally or in the back. Mm -hmm. um, there's this really thin tape at the top so it doesn't go down your stomach. Mm -hmm. And then these are the heat pouches. So they're mm -hmm. really, really thin. They last eight to 10 hours, even up to like 13, 15 hours. Wow. Um, and they're super okay. thin. Like you can't even see under a pencil skirt or leggings. So, so I have a question. Thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. So my second question is around the, the kind of go to market. So you, I think you said you sell direct to consumer. Can you talk a little bit about like which challenge you've been selling it to? through explicitly just like a website or and then um, I was thinking there might be a referral opportunity here you know because thinking of the girls thing there might be people who you'd be like oh this is working for them like have you guys thought about finding ways for people to you know show this to you or tell, tell their friends about this yeah so we currently sell um, pretty much exclusively on our site right now mm -hmm. um, we do run some ads we run some Facebook ads um, a little bit of Google ads. A lot of it is already word to mouth. Interesting. It's a really good word to mouth product, um, especially because we can count on on one hand and not even fill up the whole hand of people who disliked the product. Um, people really, really like it once they get in their hands and um, a lot of people will email us and say, oh, I'm using this because so-and-so told me. Um, mm -hmm. we do. we did have a referral program set up on our site um, we didn't really like the interface, so we'll probably change it. But we know that it's a really good word of mouth. That's and awesome. Girl product as People well. love talking about it with their friends and be like, girl, you got yeah. it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's a really <laughs> jaw dropping. When we talk about it, it's very exciting for them. So. If you've ever done marketing in the social media world, chances are you've heard of influencer marketing the fastest growing customer acquisition method in the world. Now, when you hear the term influencer, you probably think of someone famous, right? Well, what you might not know is there's a shift happening. 
taking the focus of influencer marketing away from celebrities and towards ordinary people. These everyday social media users will promote a brand's products and to their audience using a unique referral code, usually in exchange for commission or free items. This is called a brand ambassador program. But the problem is that these programs are nearly impossible to manage. Brands have to spend so much time making referral codes, tracking sales, calculating commissions and more that it takes away from other crucial business operations. That's where we come in. Buzzbassador is a CRM like software solution that automates all the back office tasks of running an ambassador program. Unlike our competitors, we offer an end to end automated management workflow that puts everything on autopilot, making it easier for businesses to leverage the power of influencer marketing. In fact, our customers have seen as much as a 1600% monthly growth in sales and a 20 X ROI just by incorporating Buzzbassador into their influencer marketing strategy. Our initial target market is Shopify merchants, which alone is a $2.14 billion market. Since our 2020 launch on the Shopify app store, we've onboarded over a thousand businesses and generated over a hundred thousand dollars in revenue. If we win the $5,000, it will go directly towards developing our next big features so we can continue to help businesses all around the world automate the buzz around their brand. Can you walk, can you walk through? So we, obviously uh, we do a lot of influencer marketing. Can you just walk through what, what specifically, you know, what does the product specifically do? What, what, what is it taking off our team's plate that we're currently doing? Um, I think you gave a high level, but I guess if you just dig in, like why, if I come to you, uh, we have, uh, influencer marketing, like what, why, why should I use Buzz Ambassador? Like, what is it taking off our plate? Yeah, Calvin, I'll let you, I'll let you go with that one. Yeah, sure. So honestly, and just to give you a little bit of backstory, we built a case study um, while I was in college. Uh, we were running an e-commerce platform, or excuse me, e-commerce store on Shopify's platform, and we built um, built our business to about 9,000 ambassadors around the world. Uh, who helped us generate about $350,000 in revenue. And one of the things that was really difficult for us managing that amount of influencers was literally the management behind it. We were using Google Sheets, we were using um, recruitment software, we were using management software, at, at least five to 10 different systems um, and, and to do what we were trying to do. And it was taking us all day to manage it. Um, so we really didn't get to scale that business in that case study like we wanted to. And that's where we built Buzzbassador to essentially take uh, automation and place it in the hands of merchants so that they don't have to necessarily focus on creating referral codes, tracking who's brought in sales, tracking which ambassador uh, referral link actually generated, um, you know, link clicks and, and, and views that way. So, I mean, so I do, I mean, this is what we do at Jenny's too, but we, the way we find ambassadors is that they're already, already love our stuff. And so then we just kind of sign them up, get them involved, and then they, they get, and they're all, they're never like the big influencers. So I totally right. am with you on all of that. It, it's, it's just, a, just a, yeah. But, um, but I just feel like it would be really hard to actually take that off our plate because we're listening. This is part of our community. We're listening to people and really connected to people. So, and I mean, 9,000 people, that's a lot, but I mean, maybe it doesn't take that many. I don't know. I mean, how do you, so tell me more about the ambassador, where they come from. Yeah, so for our merchants, it, it really depends on where they are, first of all, in their business development, uh, brand development, and then what they're kind of looking for their ambassadors to do. We essentially, when we built um, our case studies, we were just looking for a mass amount of people to just push to their uh, friends and followers over Instagram. So we didn't necessarily care who uh, we were using as ambassadors. Um, and that's what we see some of our merchants do. Some of our merchants have more of a grassroots program, so they even find the brand through social channels or have some sort of connection, have bought from the brand and have come from, you know, custom, customer loyalty into the, the brand's ambassador program. Um, and then there's also using digital channels and or, you know, digital advertising um, to say, hey, look, we're looking for ambassadors, please apply here. Um, and, and then they can accept ambassadors that way. So there's, like I said, there's multiple ways then, to go about it. And then you yeah. engage your systems to and, track and, and and do all the things that you do. Exactly, and that's when you use the management tool. Hi, I'm Dylan, one of the founders of Rise Fitness, the first virtual workout community for people with mobility issues. After swimming in college and working as a design engineer, I decided to quit my job and train for the Olympics. 
That same weekend, I became a quadriplegic. The last six years, I've learned firsthand how vital working out is for wheelchair users, not just for strength and independence, but for health and happiness too. Unfortunately, there are no convenient options to stay active for myself and the other 18 million Americans with mobility issues. Adaptive gyms are expensive and far away, PT equipment is outdated, and YouTubers with disabilities offer scattered, mediocre content. As a result, many of us struggle to get enough exercise. At RISE, we're not just offering subscription-based live and on-demand workouts tailored by disability, but more importantly, we're building a brand centered around positivity and community. So far, we've won a pitch competition, joined Techstars Summer Fellowship, we built a film studio to stream content, and we started filming workouts with our first two instructors. $5,000 would greatly speed up our growth by funding 50 workout videos, and it would allow us to contract a marketing expert. Please help us accelerate our mission and proudly improve the lives of this underserved community. Thank you. Never thought about this. Um and it seems like a completely unfilled uh, swim lane. Um, is, I mean, is, is there any competition? Is it mostly just PT? Um, is this all going to be online? Or are you going to actually have, you know, actually brick and mortar, actually places where people can go? How does it, how does it work um, uh, from the consumer's perspective? Yeah, from the consumer's perspective, everything they can do in their own house, watching it, you know, streaming on a device like their TV, or their computer or whatever and um is like we have a studio here at the house that we we converted my garage into a film studio that looks incredibly good for uh you know the budget we we're on and i've impressed some of my film friends and uh yeah the the market like we started before the pandemic started and there like we scour the internet and there's only a few different videos and, and we've, you know, we've done a ton of market research and found that, you know, people, some people are looking, like a lot of people are looking for things and they just, they'll, they'll find what they can, but they get tired and stop looking. Like I would imagine that there's a lot you can do just like you just, you know, work out at home, just whatever. But like, is there also specialized equipment in other places where you could go as you grow this whole concept sort of around this audience and this community? Yeah, exactly. That is our grand vision, you know, to come out with the ultimate seated workout machine. And as my background as a design engineer, like that's definitely where my mind is at. And But we realized that we needed to start uh, with something we can gain traction with immediately for investors. And that's uh, people working out at home with uh, just wrist weights and stretch boards and, and PVC pipes filled with sand and, you know, things that you are very easily accessible for everyone and there's no big price barrier to entry. So, you know, once we establish traction and have a, a solid revenue uh, model, then we can start developing, um, you know, the, the ultimate machine. And that actually doubles our market as well, getting into physical therapy because there hasn't been any new physical therapy, like in a, like, the, the machines you see at every rehab facility you go to are pretty much the same for the last decade. Um, so yeah, we're excited to get into that market. Is this uh, payable by healthcare insurance? So insurance is, um, we're gonna definitely be trying to tap into that market, but for starters, there's a lot of foundations out there. Mm. Um, like for starters, we've talked with the Challenge Athletes Foundation and the Triumph Foundation that specifically help people like Dylan in wheelchairs to become okay. more active. And we've actually talked with a couple foundations already who pride themselves in giving out millions of dollars a year in grant money. And they've given us verbal commitments that they would be willing to sponsor the subscriptions. Mm -hmm. um, and so essentially, even though the customers are using the, um, basically using the software and doing these workouts, they're not actually paying for it because they'd be sponsored by either the insurance companies or the foundations mm -hmm. um, to, to funnel that money to our top line basically. Hi everyone, I'm Opor Chintala, the CEO of Clocker Inc. And I have a question for you that most people don't like to answer. Have you thought about what happens to all of your digital assets and online accounts when you die? 
Well, over 55% of people in the U.S. do not have a physical will, and even more don't have a will for their digital assets and online accounts. Now, these accounts hold a lot of very valuable assets, including photos, medical records, um, online money balances, and much more. It's really important that you have a plan to disperse them, especially during these harrowing times. To address this, we created a cloud locker, aka Clocker, that eases the process of passing on your digital assets and online accounts to your beneficiaries. We are currently the only ones in the market that offer a patent pending advanced security system and an innovative package of estate planning tools on a single platform. To back us up, our team of advisors has over 300 plus years of experience and strategic connections in many different industries. Our main go-to-market strategy is B2B2C, so we want to partner with estate lawyers, financial planners, senior living, employee benefits, and more. So far, we are 100% bootstrapped and we have no debt. This past year, we, we pivoted, um, launched our MVP a few weeks ago, and we're currently seeing some great traction. We are asking for $5,000 to help us build out our uh, TurboTax style user experience and estate plan creation tool in addition to any strategic partnerships. Our vision is to transform this age old industry through innovation and modernization. Join us in our journey to paving the way to providing peace of mind to our families. Thank you so much for your time. Wow, I think about this all the time. Like, what can happen on my? I can't even keep yeah. track of my subscriptions. Like, if I like get right. us or whatever, like, and all the different stuff that's out there, or I don't even know. For this sure, and that's why we're here. <laughs> Maybe I look through your deck just qu quickly. You can actually use this before you die, right? Yes. Because yeah. it's it's aggregating all of your digital assets. So if you just forgot about something, or if I wanted to share my password or something. Presumably, I will be able to do that one day on your tool. Is that right? Exactly. And the goal is that you don't um, put all of these things together as you're thinking about what, like right. when that time is getting closer. Ideally, you want to start doing it Over when time. you start accumulating all mm -hmm. these things, when you start accumulating wealth and things like that. So um, that's why we're targeting B2B2C because that middle aged bracket is when people are starting to think about, okay, how do I pass on my, my wealth that I'm accumulating? So really that middle age versus getting older is kind of what we're targeting feels like there's a level of encryption or security here yeah. that would be important. Can you walk through at least how, it's, how it worked for the B2C model? Yeah, so we have a security platform that's patent pending currently, and it's very unique in the industry. A lot of companies that are on the cloud, they use very basic encryption, standard security. Um, and so what our platform essentially is, is we um, take all the files and information that you give to us, we shred them into different pieces and we disperse them onto different cloud platforms. So the idea is that even if you were to have um, one file or um, one cloud provider, you still wouldn't be able to piece together the information. Mm -hmm. That's one of our um, different differentiators in the market as well. What, what made you want to solve this problem? Like, why were you put on earth to solve this? Everybody does. Yeah, so my grandfather passed away a few years ago um, and all my whole family, they all live in India. And so um, he basically just had boxes and boxes of just random papers. He was used to be a writer, so just writings and things like that. And um, obviously it's a very um, traumatic process to have to process a death in your family for everybody, but having to deal with that aftermath of, okay, how do we, who do we disperse this to, right? I have a big family. My dad has multiple sisters. So how do we know who he wanted to give what? And so it's a very, um, it was a very common problem amongst a lot of people, even when we were just talking to friends and family. And then when we started doing customer discovery that um, a lot of people are not organized, though they like to think they are. And um, we just, this was the one that I was like, I really connected with. Uh, my family tends to be pretty like creative and thinking of silly ideas of what we want to do in terms of products and things, but this is the one that I really connected with and this is one that I really wanted to do. So um, here we are today. Oh my gosh, I love that you do this as a family, that this is how you, you guys think. I do think that entrepreneurship comes from, a lot of times comes from your family, that like bug. So that is really neat that you guys are a creative family and you do this together. My name is Michael and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Eris. Um, Eris is the first text message learning platform. So we help enterprises rapidly teach and train their employees uh, using text message based courses uh, with use cases ranging from anti-racism training to safety training. Um, in just the past six months, we've signed on over 40 Fortune 500 clients and governments, um, everybody from DuPont to the state of California to the Pointer Institute. 
um, in large part because better remote training is an urgent enterprise need. Um, as a result of that, we just raised a $1.9 million seed round led by Craft Ventures, and we're expecting to hit about 50K in monthly revenue by the end of this year. Um, along with being extremely remote friendly, text message courses have completion and satisfaction rates of over 90%, 10 times higher than video-based courses. Um, as a result, with Aris, companies can save up to 90% of their training costs by eliminating inefficient training, um, while launching new training far faster than current solutions. Two years ago, I started Eris as a way to teach and train students in the conflict zone in Yemen. Um, and today, I'm proud to share that we've deployed over 200,000 days worth of text message learning content. Uh, the best part is that we're just getting started. Thanks so much. So when you're, you're getting texts, I mean, are you then linking to a video or are you actually, actually doing it through text? Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, so the full course takes place entirely in text. So essentially, once a day over the course of five to 30 days, uh, you'll get an image or a GIF, a 1200 character, it's about two screen lengths, concept or case study explanation, um, and then a series of uh, assessment questions. So multiple choice questions or open-ended questions. Um, so every single day at a time that you select, you'll get your text, read it, respond to the assessment questions, um, and you're done for the day. So we essentially make, make learning you know, super bite-sized and super frictionless. Wow, that's incredible. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, we've been we've been toying with actually um, direct marketing to consumers through through text message as well. We've we have actually higher engagement than any of their platforms. Um, we use a uh, I think it's called Avocado. Is it similar to what you're doing? A little different? Do you know? Is there other platforms out there that are that can can accomplish what you're accomplishing? I guess what's what makes you know this so so much different or special than what's already out there. Yeah, sure thing. Um, so there, there's a lot of text message marketing platforms out there. For us, we're pretty narrowly focused on education and training. Um, and so with that in mind, we built it, we built you know a, a comprehensive text message course model um, that's really, really unique and proprietary to us. Um, and we've done tons of research on text message learning and what makes text message courses effective uh, with you know built-in assessments, etc. Do, do you make the content as well? Or does the content come from the client? Sure, yeah, the content usually comes from the client. We'll, we'll often help them convert the existing content into text message format. Um, although we're, we're exploring uh, ways to use all of the data that we've gathered about what makes great text message courses. Um, and, and you know, we're working towards AI-generated content uh, using tools like GPT-3 over the course of the next uh, months. Michael, you mentioned you started this uh, to help kids in Yemen in a war zone. Why did you start? The, how did that happen? And tell me a little bit about the founding. Yeah, sure thing. Um, so prior to Eris, I found an organization called Tile.org, uh, which is now one of the world's largest entrepreneurship education nonprofits. We have over 450 locations in 50 countries. Um, and what I started realizing was that our location in Yemen was incredibly successful, um, in large part because students were desperate for educational resources. Um, and these live events that we were hosting were one of the few educational resources that students had access to. Um, and, and so, you know, I became obsessed with the, with the question of how can we deliver more education in Yemen, especially given the fact that so many students don't have access to the internet. Um, and even though most people don't have access to the internet and can't take video-based courses, almost everybody can text. I'm Katie Soa, future founder COO. I lead our startup team here that supports all the work we do with 18 to 30 year old founders. As you can tell through UPitch, we have the opportunity to work with some truly incredible young entrepreneurs. But here at Future Founders, we actually get to do a whole lot more throughout the year. In fact, two of our standout national programs are actually coming up right around the corner. And if you're a young founder, we wanna work with you. Our fellowship is a prestigious year-long program designed to accelerate the success of the nation's top young entrepreneurs. We work with companies that are scaling and growing. Through steel building, coaching, and a top-notch peer community, we focus on a unique blend of personal founder development alongside business growth. Applications are opening in January 2021, and the program will kick off next spring. 
But if you're a little bit earlier on your entrepreneurial journey, if you have an idea, a passion or side hustle that you want to turn it into a functioning business, then our startup bootcamp is for you. The startup bootcamp will give you hands on access to tactical workshops, a speaker series and an awesome network to help you get your company off the ground. The program will kick off in March 2021, but applications are opening very soon in November. The best thing about our startup bootcamp and our fellowship is that these programs are completely free. There is no fee to participate and we don't take any equity in your company. These are virtual cohorts and we work with founders from all industries, from food to consumer products to healthcare and tech and anything in between. And the best part, we have an amazing network of mentors who are willing to give their knowledge, insight and time to support you. Head on over to futurefounders.com and learn more about our programs and how you can apply. We look forward to working with you. Hi, my name is Robert Law. I am the founder and CEO of Mutero. We were the winner of UPitch 2019. UPitch gives us an opportunity to showcase our product and our mission to a wider range of audience and we receive a lot of support from them. Since UPitch 2019, we have been able to scale up our production, develop a new version of our food waste fiber, and start working on a new solution that turns food waste into plastic alternative packaging material and we hope to continue working with future founders to inspire new generations of entrepreneurs to fight global issues on climate change. Hi, my name is Alyssa Lopez, and after working as a nanny for nine years, I founded Family Stew to help families do every day easier through family management tools. Before Future Founders Bootcamp Mentorship and funding after winning top three at UPitch 2019, I was on the verge of quitting. Future Founders encouraged me to not give up on helping families, to not give up on myself. Now, with almost 1 million working moms leaving the workforce in September alone due to COVID childcare and school closures, my business is helping families across the country, helping families do every day easier. Thank you, Robert and Alyssa. We appreciate you sharing your stories with everyone. Before we move on to announcing the winners from tonight's competition, I just want to take a moment to thank all of the incredible people who make this work possible. You pitch and Team Startup and everything that we do at Future Founders comes from the hearts and the love of a lot of people. And I just want to send a huge shout out to Katie, Kelly, Tina, Sal, Lucas, Cody, Ellen, and Jane for all of their hard work in making sure that Future Founders runs on a daily basis. It's now my honor to start announcing the winners and I will tell you the judges had quite a difficult time deliberating because there were so many incredible innovative ideas from across the country. And without further ado, I'm pleased to announce that our third place winner winning $1,000 is Clocker. This was one of those companies that really blew the judges away because as you think about all of the social media and all of the accounts that we have and we access, no one really thinks about what you do with them when you kind of move into that next phase of life or when you pass away. And Apoorva really demonstrated just a solid knowledge of her business idea as well as just the technology that um, is going to really power this for the future. So Apoorva, it is great to well, hopefully be able to see you. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but what does it mean to you to be able to win UPitch 2020? I think we're all dealing with some of these new technical difficulties that we have in this new modern day and age, but um, we definitely want to send a huge congratulations to her. There you are. Um, I think someone else is registered under my name, but I, can y'all hear me? We can hear you, but uh, what does it feel like to win a U-Pitch? It feels really good. It's definitely not without the help. The mentors that were provided during the beginning were, were extremely helpful in kind of nailing down the pitch. And it feels really good to see all the support, especially that this event is virtual. 
Um, so thank you to everyone. It was really, I'm very proud of all the founders um, that are semi-finalists. So I think everyone is just doing an amazing job, especially um, we're, that we're in a pandemic. So just thank you so much. And so excited to see where all of y'all go. Well, we're very proud of you and look forward to continuing to work with you in the Future Founders community. Congratulations again from all of us at Future Founders. Thank you so much. Great, now we're going to move on to our second place winner, winning $2,500. Let us congratulate Arist. Um, so we are going to be welcoming the founder, Michael Yaffe. Um, we are so excited to be able to recognize the hard work that you and your team have done to bring text message learning and training kind of into the ethos. Um, I believe Mike is joining us right now. Michael, so congratulations. Thanks so much, I'm super excited. Tell us like what really inspired like Eris? Like how did you come up with this idea? Yeah, sure thing. Um so Eris really started from from um you know the need that I saw working with uh with some of the friends that I had made and, and some of the students that I worked with um in the Yemeni conflict zone through my work with my nonprofit, tile.org. And um yeah, and, and I'm just really happy that today we've been able to to deliver um you know text message courses globally um and really make a difference that way. And there's a lot of people watching and I know like, especially like during your time with the judges, they were very interested in how text message training and uh, could be brought to a company. So how could you just explain quickly, like what's the process? Like how could someone actually work with you to bring Aris to their company? Yeah, sure thing. Um, so if you go to our website, it, it, just aris.co and I'll, I'll put a link in the chat here. Um, you know, you can book time directly with me and essentially what we'll do is we'll help you figure out what your most urgent training needs are. And then from there, we'll help you convert your first few courses um, and, and see if, if text message learning can help, um, you know, dramatically increase your engagement and course completion rates at your company. Well, great. Well, congratulations on all the traction and progress that you've made. And we're excited to continue to work with you in the Future Founders community and, and best of luck for what's next. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, so now it's down um, to some of the most important um, announcements of the evening. Um, as you know, earlier on, we opened up a People's Choice Award. So that way, all of our 18 semifinalists had the opportunity to walk away with a cash prize of $1,500. And we are so delighted to announce that the winner of the People's Choice Award for 2020 is Buzz Bassiter. So founders, Brandon and Calvin will be joining us very soon. Um, and it's been interesting just to see like the trajectory of this company and how much traction that they've made. So uh, we will be welcoming. Hey, Calvin, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good, thanks. How does it feel to be the people's choice? It feels good. Um, I wonder if Brandon is going to be able to get on. But honestly, everybody, all the founders did an amazing job. And uh, it's just so exciting to see the talent um that the united states has and so and, and young, young founders and student founders and so uh we're just excited to be uh in this cohort and group of people and brandon what does it mean to you to be recognized by all of those who are who are watching and i i know you must have recruited a lot of people um to help make sure that you walked away with this prize but what does that what does that mean to you and what does that mean to your business uh it means a ton um obviously like you said there was a lot of recruiting um trying to get our tribe our buzz back their tribe together um but yeah it means a ton um to have to know that you know in a startup having you know two other founders calvin and shelby um times get tough but knowing that there's people out there that have our backs um and they show out tonight you know to give us people's choice um it really means a lot yeah well your your community definitely had your backs tonight um and we're so excited to welcome you um and congratulate you for this and you know we look forward to continuing to work with you in your business so congratulations again thank you thank you gentlemen and now as we make our transition here it's time for the moment everyone has been waiting for um after hundreds of applications after 54 judges and countless rounds of pitches and preparation and mentor sessions it all comes down to who is joining the ranks of some of the most amazing companies led by young founders all over the country we've had such a successful track record of previous you pitch winners you should definitely check them out you got to meet robert from Utero a little earlier um, but we have very high hopes and on behalf of the entire future founders community I am honored and thrilled 
to announce that the winner of UPitch 2020 is Rise Fitness. So we are going to be bringing Dylan and Trey on to congratulate them very soon. Uh, Rise Fitness comes from California and just truly impressed the judges with the grit and determination and very innovative market need that they identified. Um, we are so thrilled to be able to welcome them to the ring from really incredible companies. And here they are joining. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? Hey, thank you guys so much. We're so honored. Um, We're excited to get this out to everyone who needs it, you know, sooner than we would have without so, the extra time. Sorry. So, um, hey, Trey, congratulations. Um, so, so, Dylan, what does it mean to you to win a national competition and get some additional recognition for Rise? Uh, it just gives me a lot of hope that this is going to be as big as we'd like it to be, and we'll be able to help that many more people. Um, yeah. Trey, Thank you guys so much. Trey, what are you feeling right now? Uh, super excited. Glad I was able to get the info to work. Um, but we just wanted to say thank you on behalf of uh, Dylan and me. We wanted to really thank you, the founders, and um, everyone else that's been part of this competition. It's been great to meet everyone and, and see all the big things that everyone's doing. So, so I have a couple more questions as, as you've won. Um, what message would you send to other people out there who have like an innovative idea but haven't taken that you know, step to really turn it into a business? Like, What would you tell them? I'd say two things. One, you know, talk to your customers. Do a lot of customer discovery and don't fall in love with your idea because ours has changed so many times as, you know, we've been working on this over the past year, you know, six months full time. And uh, the other thing is do it for the right reasons. Like do something that isn't just like, you know, you, you got to love what you are going to put, you know, eight hours plus 10 hours plus a day into. Um, and, you know, if you like it, like for us, it's paid off. And I'm, I'm just so honored. I'm excited to keep this moving. Well, how can we and how can everyone watching help rise and help you each as entrepreneurs? Uh, I guess just sign up on our website, risehomefitness.com. Um, if you want to stay in the loop and, um, when we officially launch, you know, we'll send you guys all the info. Well, we want to send a huge congratulations to both of you and to your team. I mean, this is, you've made it through quite an incredible round of competition and represent some of the best and brightest entrepreneurs. And I hope you see this as another vote of confidence and credibility in what you're doing. And uh, we just want to wish you all the best and, and look forward to continue working with you. So congratulations once again. We're so proud of you. Thank you guys so much. You've been such an incredible resource and so helpful this entire time. We'll definitely talk to you soon. So hopefully you get a chance to celebrate this big victory um, and share this with, with the rest of the folks around the country. So thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Um, just an incredible opportunity for us to highlight some talented young entrepreneurs and um, everyone at Future Founders is just so thrilled that Rise Fitness won as well as all the other incredible companies that participated. And for those of you out there who are considering starting a business, we're there for you. Um, we want to help you make your dream, your side hustle become a reality. So I hope you check us out at futurefounders.com. And you know, during these unprecedented times, we're all looking for a little bit of hope. And hopefully this evening you saw that there's a lot of promise, a lot of excitement, um, a lot of optimism. And we hope that these young entrepreneurs and others in our community are going to continue making the world a better place for all of us. Um, so I'm gonna leave you with some parting words. Do something bold and thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting young entrepreneurs. Be safe, be healthy, be happy. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great evening.